everything you need to know about print by object feature, including the catches many people don't mention. And there's one trick at the end many people don't know about, so stick around. To demonstrate, I set up a simple project so I can show you all the features, tricks and limitations. First, let's take a look at the default method, printing by layer. We have three objects and each one is a different color. After slicing, you can see that the printer swaps filament twice per layer. That means 248 color changes, almost 100 grams of waste and nearly 8 hours of printing. Now let's enable print by object and there's two ways to do it. First one, global settings. Go to others, special modes, print sequence, select by object. Downside, it will apply to every plate in the project. Second way, plate settings. It is located right over here. It is the same menu, but it will only apply to that specific plate. This is the way I recommend. After enabling, right away you notice the slicer shows an error. Objects are too close. That's because of the clearance outline around each object. It's the distance between the nozzle and the toolhead edges. It prevents the toolhead from hitting already printed parts. Once you space them properly and slice, you can see the difference is huge. Waste drops to under 1 gram, only 2 color changes and the print time shrinks from 8 hours to 40 minutes. Next limitation, extruder clearance height to rod and the lid. This shows up when your objects have different heights and it is represented in slicer by those two lines. When you auto arrange, the slicer forces them to print from shortest to tallest so the tool head clears everything. In some cases, the auto arrange feature may refuse to work and if that happens, you can manually reorder them by going under the objects menu and dragging them manually. The print order here will be dictated from top to bottom. Now for that trick many people don't know about, assembling by color. If you have a project with many parts and you just turn on print by object, all parts get spaced apart and some won't even fit on the plate. The fix is assembling. You can take objects of the same color and arrange them neatly next to each other. Then you can select all of them, right click and select merge. Then repeat for each color group. And now, as you can see, each group is treated as one object, so you can pack way more onto the plate. There is a catch. If one piece in a merge group fails during printing, the only way to exclude it would be to exclude the whole group. And that is because the printer treats every group as a single object. And that's it. Let me know if this helped. And if you want me to cover more slicer features in another video, just drop a comment. Happy printing!